solve z to the fifth plus 32 equals zero. We're gonna try to do this the fastest way possible. So solution. So the first thing you do is subtract the 32. So z to the fifth is equal to negative 32. The next thing we're gonna do is write negative 32 in polar form. So let's draw a picture. So negative 32 is over here. And so we can see right away that the modulus, which we'll call r, is 32. And the angle theta is simply pi. So we're gonna, now we're going to write negative 32 in polar form. So we're going to write it like this. So negative 32 is equal to 32 e to the i pi. But e to the z is a periodic function. So we can write this as 32 e to the i pi plus 2k pi. We're looking for z to the fifth equals negative 32. So if we take the fifth root of both sides, we get negative 32 to the one-fifth. That's 32 to the one-fifth e. And then what we can do is do the following. We can just divide by 5. So pi plus 2k pi divided by 5. Super fast way to do it. Always works every single time. So this is 2 e to the i pi plus 2k pi over 5. And now we can specify values. So we're taking the fifth root. So we're going to have five roots. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we just plug in 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4 here, and we get all of the roots. So let's go ahead and do it carefully. So when k is equal to 0, we get, let's call it z1, we're going to get 2 e, and then k is 0, so we're just going to get pi over 5. So e to the i, pi over 5. So that's one answer. When k is 1, we get z2, and that's 2 e to the i. And let's see, we're plugging in 1, so we're going to get 2 pi. 2 pi plus pi is 3 pi, so we get 3 pi over 5. So that's another root. When k is equal to 2, we're going to get z3. And that's going to be 2 e to the i. And let's see, we're plugging in 2. So 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi. 4 pi plus pi is 5 pi. So we get 5 pi over pi. So that's 2 e to the i pi. Well, e to the i pi is negative 1. So we get 2 times negative 1 which is negative 2. So z3 is negative 2. And then when k is 3, again we plug in 3, so we get z4 this time. So this is 2 e to the i. And we're plugging in 3, so we're going to get 2 times 3 times pi. So we're going to get 6 pi. And we're adding that to pi, so it's going to give us 7 pi. So we're going to end up with 7 pi over 5. And last but not least, we'll plug in 4. So when k is equal to 4, we end up with z5. And this is 2 e to the i. And we're plugging in 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So we get 9 pi over 5. And so that is the answer. So pretty fast way to do it. There's lots of ways to do this. Uh, you have to be really careful here. You have to make sure you do this and add the 2k pi. Otherwise, this method uh, won't work. I hope this helps.